Around this time of the year, our outlook on life changes dramatically, and that also applies to our health. Lots more influences, lots more pressures. So I would imagine, Andrea Duplessis, you are receiving some different questions around this time of the year as it regards our health, and especially what we are putting in. What are some of the, the new subject matter that has, has come across your table? Well, this time of the year, typically I'll get lots of questions about digestive upsets, and I think <laughs> two factors. One is stress. You know, stress um, aggravates digestive problems like bloating and um, and especially your colon. Yeah? Yes, mm. yes. Um, and then the other one is um, obviously our changed eating habits. We eat too many of the processed foods and you know, changing your eating routine also affects your digestive system. Uh, and of course, our portion size skyrockets. Yes. You know, every Christmas lunch, if you're not sitting there man down after your meal, you haven't eaten properly. Um, but there are some easy answers, but I think we have to start with the negative influences. What are some of those real danger foods when it comes to feeling bloated? You know, bloating is something um, lots of people suffer with, and, and like we said, especially this time of the year. So I thought, let's point out the foods that can aggravate or actually cause bloating. Okay. And not all of them are unhealthy, in fact. Mm, I was going to say, yes. some of these look like you know, some of the things you've recommended in exactly. the past. Exactly. Yeah. So it's just, if you suffer with bloating um, and gassiness and all of that, stay away from onions. <laughs> Cabbage, we know that that causes a bit of gas. Um, apples, now apples, apples are very healthy, but the, the skin and the pips are the parts that can irritate your digestive system if it's very sensitive. Okay. So if you want to eat an apple, peel it rather than don't eat the pips. And the seeds, okay, these are no-brainers, yeah. Yes, mm. well, you know, lentils also cause a bit of gas, so if you suffer with bloating, stay away. Um, very high fiber foods also. And then one unhealthy item here, chips. Deep fried, high fat foods are really bad for people that suffer with bloating. Andrea, I'm sorry, I stole a trip earlier. I'm sorry, I, I ate a trip earlier. I think I saw that and I, I just looked the other way, pretending like, not to see that. Luckily yes. I can combat it with the healthy foods. Oh definitely, and we're starting with that, you know, the healthy alternative to chips, you've got to try one of these, these Vitals are... mini rice cakes, they fabulous. I well, know, you can I, be the judge Even of though that. I know exactly how they're going to taste, because they're one of my favourites, I'm going to have it anyway. I always have to guard these, uh, um, the props aren't eaten, hey? <laughs> so that's a, a low-fat alternative, and it's made with brown rice, and mm. rice is really um, easy on the digestive system, so it's not going to cause bloating. Okay. For the rest, we've got some foods that can help ease bloating, or reduce flatulence also, and fennel is the best one. Fennel, definitely, you can incorporate this into salads, you can also buy fennel tea. So if you suffer with bloating and gas, then fennel is, is one to remember. I'd just like it noted that this beautiful fennel bulb came from our own herb garden. So you can grow your own remedy at home. Hey, that's impressive, It's beautiful eh? and smell mm. that. Oh, it's man. It's amazing. Well, mint is another thing that we picked from the garden here. Mint is, also has a soothing effect on the digestive system. Uh, so these, as herbs or vegetables, you know, um, can be very healthy. You often hear about people rubbing peppermint oil to ease colon yes. pain or that sort of thing, or a spastic colon. Also taking peppermint capsules, very good. Mm. Well, talking about peppermint capsules, um, the vital spastical ease, in fact, is designed for bloating and for reducing the, the cramps and um, gassiness. And it contains peppermint oil and also fennel extract and oh. some other herbs and, and extracts that's really good for the digestive system. Now, instead of eating apples that we know can sort of aggravate bloating, papayas are really, really um, kind to the digestive system. So especially in summer, they're seasonal fruits, um, mm. so they digest it a lot better. And also delicious as well. <laughs> and then if you stress about veggies, because people that suffer with spastic colon and irritable bowel syndrome and bloating, and realize that lots of vegetables are gas forming. Mm. And the ones that are non-gas forming are easy to remember. Here they are. It is carrots, and then the whole pumpkin family. So we've got two examples here, baby marrows and butternuts. So these are the safe vegetables if you're really suffering with bloating. And I think that is a very important thing here. We've got courgettes or the entire pumpkin family and carrots are your answer. Some advice for people out there going into this festive season where you almost have to overindulge. Um, you know, you're expected to at office parties. My mother will not let me leave the table with any food on my plate. Some advice going into this, this silly season. Well, I must say to you, I don't agree. You don't have to overindulge. <laughs> so the first tip is don't go hungry to a party, especially if it's platters of fatty foods like pastries that you often see. So try and eat a healthy snack before, like a fruit. Drink a glass of water, it fills your stomach and it also hydrates you because you are likely to also have something to drink 
that won't um, be kind to your health. So lots of water and then also um, try to dish up sensible portion of food and, and try to keep count of how much you've eaten because bloating and eating too much is definitely go going to make you feel unwell now and also later when you're trying to fit into your swimming costume. <laughs> So in other words, don't be silly and overindulge. Just be responsible with your eating. But all jokes aside, I know that these sorts of ailments, uh, irritable bowel syndrome, aspartic colon, they are no laughing matter. And the answer is there right in front of you. Just start with those healthy foods. You can pick up the conversation with Andrea on her Facebook page, Andrea Duplessis, Vital Experts. Trust Vital for your family's health.